A quick search on our well-known search engine known as Google yields nearly 1.7 billion results for the 32-bit versus 64-bit query. This interest started back in 2003 when AMD first launched their desktop 64-bit CPU. But since the launch of iPhone 5S, the first smartphone with a 64-bit CPU, it again became a talking point among PC enthusiasts. But what does it actually mean for an average person? Let's start with what a bit is. One bit means a single character, either zero or one. So with one bit, you can express up to two values. Similarly, with two bits, you can express up to four values. And with three bits, that bumps up to eight values. With every bit we add, increases the number of values we can be present in binary exponentially. Now, we all heard about bits in relationship to all types of computer things, from data storage to data transmission to data processing. So all this links back to the CPU. On the subject of the processor, the number of bit generally connects to the amount of memory it can address. So while 32-bit is limited to only 4 gigs of RAM, a 64-bit system can handle up to 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. Alright, that sounds interesting. More RAM is good for performance. So where is my 128-bit CPU? Well, more RAM is only beneficial if you need it to store data that is applicable to the task your processor is working on at a given time. Adding more RAM to this isn't going to make, let's say, your car go faster. But changing to more bits for your processor, it is not something to be undertaken for no reason. Aside from hardware re-engineering and instruction set architecture extension or redesign, it involves complete rewrite of fundamental parts of your operating system, be it Windows, Linux, Android, iOS, or whatever. It requires specific driver software for all hardware components that will be used. And lastly, application developers will need to, at the minimum, recompile and debug their code enough to achieve basic compatibility without taking any advantage of performance improvements. And if you think a 64-bit processor is faster, then I am afraid that you have been misled. For only certain workloads, and not every time will there be a benefit for 64-bit processors. But, but in most cases, what you're actually benefiting from is that a 64-bit CPU will tend to have a newer and more robust design overall with more registers, function units, memory bandwidth, and all other stuff. So until we need more than 4 gigs of RAM for our applications, the 64-bitness is a necessary transition being backed up for general consumers as a selling point. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, comment about it, share it and as for always, subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.